What's good everybody, welcome to a new updated config video. People have been asking about it the entire time. Actually at the end of 2016 it's got even more since there was a Counter-Strike update. And one of the comments that was in my config was actually breaking the game kind of. It was some graphical thing that was still in the source config in it. I've kind of copy pasted a Counter-Strike source config towards a Counter-Strike Go config at the start when Go came out. That comment didn't really influence anything that had to do with Counter-Strike Go but since there was an update, then it kind of rolled it back a little and somehow broke the game. I removed it for myself, but I forgot to update it for everybody. If there's someone asking in the comments on any video, if you're watching this video right now, yeah, and you're going to see in some future video or whatever, you're going to see someone asking about the config, I'd really appreciate it if you just tell them to check the description. I do try to read all of the comments, but it's getting a little bit hard. Anyway, there's always a link in the description to the config view models crosser, both for the playing and movie making, which is going to link to this video right now. Here. The config video nowadays is already 250,000 views. People want my config badly. Uh, I don't know why. It doesn't really change anything towards you. But at the end of the day, here it is. Config 2017 movie making and playing. As for my last config video, all of the actual info that most of you people want, like the crosser, like the view model settings, like the Bob Lowe AMT, the radar settings, the video settings, I'm going to screenshot it all. I'm going to put it all in the description, just like you see in this video. So if you're not 100% interested in me talking about these things, why, what, when, how, you can just check the description. Everything's right there. Everything's ready to be copy pasted. You can download the config. You can watch the screenshots for the video settings and you can just like copy paste the crosshair as well. Whatever you want, whatever you need. My crosshair is also on the crosshair generator. So you might have found it yourself already via Google, but if you want to have the more information, this is the video for you. These are the video settings for videos, for my frag movies, montages, however you want to call them. Everything that I work from, from demos, from demos that people send in or that I'm using myself for the best of competitor, for example, this is exactly how it's looking like. It is 1080p. 1920 to 1080 resolution 69 everything's on high everything's set to the maximum for the best possible quality outcome for all the youtube videos these are the video settings for the stream if i'm playing on the stream i'm if i'm playing on the stream i'm using the brightness 1.6 the gamma you can change you can change the gamma by using this to the right swipe it to the right it's all getting dark swipe it to the left it's getting bright again. I'm not entirely sure if Shadowplay picks that up, but my brightness, my gamma is on 1.6. I'm using the resolution for free, 1280 to 960, stretched, no black bars, everything's full screen, and all the quality settings, the advanced video options are on the maximum as well. Minus the vertical sync and motion blur, those are disabled. For obvious reasons, those are just distracting way, way, way too much when you're playing the game. If I'd happen to play in a tournament or something like that, I usually would take down the texture detail and the effect detail to low, use the analyzing 4 and the filtering mode on 4 as well. The only reason for that being is that it reduces the details of the game. And it's kind of easier for me to focus up because you cannot like, you're not getting distracted that much from all these details in the game. Counter-Strike, it does have a high amount of details. That's why I'm usually putting it down. Sometimes I'm using the shad shader detail on low as well. Sometimes I'm using the shader detail on low as well. That's really just coming down to my gut feeling because the post process and the gray area around the scope of the op is actually sometimes very distracting for me. It's just kind of, it's, it's kind of a mood thing you can say. But usually these are the settings that I'd be playing with if I'd actually go into a competitive game, non-streaming, stuff like that. So it doesn't really have to look good for the stream, but it has to work for me. The video options all on max are just the reasoning because it looks better for the stream. So the stream has like all the details, all the graphical stuff that it actually does look halfway decent on full free when I'm playing on the stream. Otherwise, it's just like looking completely crap. Since I'm not like the best player in the world, I obviously try to also make my stream look good instead of only focusing on the gameplay the entire time. The resolution in the game stretched is completely up to you. Everyone's always asking for these resolutions. What is the positive impact of them? What is what, what makes a difference for them? Most of the people, most of the pros, most of the personalities that have been in Counter-Strike for quite some time use these resolutions because they're used to it from 1.6 or source. In 1.6 and source, these different resolutions brought different kind of impacts into the game that were of a positive outcome. In Counter-Strike Go, if you started out the game, 
try to use the resolution 69. It doesn't really impact you anyway, but if you use for free, you're going to be playing with a little bit less of a view. You always have to imagine that for people that people who are using for free resolution are bound to see a little bit less than they actually would if they use 169 resolution. So if you start out freshly, use the 69 resolution. The for free resolution, most of the people do use it only because they are actually used to it and it's a hard change to go from for free to 69 when you've been using it for years. Looking at my radar settings, they're quite simple and forward. The radar is always centered type 0, alpha 255, location alpha is on 0, the radar scale is on 0 0.4. Those are the most important ones. The view model settings is just all maxed out, kind of the classic view model with the FOV being on 68, 2.5, 2, minus 2 in the Z axis. The Boblo AMT is 15 and for the videos actually I am using the Boblo AMT 1. It's kind of how the weapon is shaking around so to say. I like how the gun is moving around when I'm like running ADAD or whatever doing in the game. But for the videos I actually prefer when the gun is kind of staying still on the screen. After the view model radar settings, the important playing config settings is that I'm playing left-handed in the game. That doesn't imply that I'm actually left-handed, I just prefer to play left-handed in the game. With the common zero right hand zero, you can put your view model settings from the right hand to the left hand. That's what I'm doing. It's just personal preference, nothing else. Here's one of the changes though. I've actually changed my sensitivity from one from last year. I've opted entirely, the, in the entire year, I've opted a little bit up until now. I've used a really low sensitivity, right? I've been using sensitivity one at the start of last year now i'm at 1.6 the zoom sensitivity still stays the same at one the scaling is 0.75 full free resolution 1280 to 960 and the net graph is off because it's way too irritating for the stream and such when i'd be playing competitive again i probably enable the net graph to see how the server is doing see the fps see if there's any problems with the connection whatever the hell but when I'm playing on the stream or when I'm playing in general, I have it off because, you know, so I'd use a net graph if I'd not record stuff for videos or stream, but that's actually what I'm doing most of the time. When I'm in Counter-Strike, I stream or play, so net graph is off. The crosshair, I don't really want to go through the entire crosshair right now. It's linked in the description. You can see it on the screen. We do not have a dot. We do not have an outline. The gap is on zero and it's red. That's pretty much about the crosshair for the playing config. The movie config kind of changes everything around a little bit. The video mode is on 1080p. Why for the YouTube videos 1080p is the standard nowadays. Even people going up to 4K for it being a standard. The kill assists are non-existent in movie configs, all right? That means that if I'm playing and, and I'd actually kill a tagged guy, it still doesn't show the assist in the video settings. You can disable the assist with the MP8 display kill assists. It makes it for a much, much more smoother death notice for the people for the frag movies. I'd recommend that for any kind of guy who wants to do some frag Maybe just remove the kill assists. It just makes it look so much cleaner for the guy who's watching. As I said, the Bob Lower AMT is on one. Post process enables on zero. The fog enables on zero. Unless I'm sometimes recording cameras with fog enable and stuff like that. But the base settings, the standard settings is fog and post process off. However, the right hand on the right side again. We are using the default, a seal right hand one. Why? Because I've never really seen people complain about the gun being on the right side in videos, but there's a good amount of people who are actually complaining if the gun is on the left side. So i rather just keep it default, how the game is having it, and that is the view model being on the right hand. So I'm just seal right hand one in the videos. I'm playing with left hand though in the game. Again, as I've said, it's just personal preference when you're playing. And if you're looking for the crosshair, the white crosshair that I'm using in the frag videos and the montage and stuff like that, it's in the description as well. It's also in the config download link. All right, that was pretty much my config in a nutshell. Again, everything's in the description. If you just want to download it and copy paste it or something like that, all the important details are down there. I've linked the screenshots as well. Plus, you have the download of both the configs and the kind of little, a few additions for people who actually want to create videos like a smoothing config, stuff like that. It's not much of a big deal. I tried to explain it in the config. I've written down kind of what every single comment does. So that might help you. Um, with that being said, if you have a question, don't hesitate to put it in the comments. I try to help. If I'm not able to, maybe there's one or the other guy who can help you out. And if the question is still around, just come on my live stream or something and ask me there. There's a lot of helpful people. I have a lot of helpful mods and friendly viewers that are going to try to help you out right there. I hope you got all the information you were looking for. Um, see you on the live stream or something like that. And uh, thank you for watching. Have a good day, everybody. Peace out.